<laughs> Hallelujah. Good morning to you, Church of God by Faith. We say good morning to you and welcome to our National Church of God by Faith prayer call. Once again, I am your host for this National Prayer Call, Minister Cornelius Dunmore Stark, Church of God by Faith, Gainesville District, uh, under the leadership of Presiding Bishop James McKnight, Jr., and we thank God for our district father and elder in the person of Elder Dwayne Ganey, Gainesville District, and we thank God for each and every one of you, for every district, for everyone, from the pulpit to the parking lot, every or every office, everyone on this call, because the Word of God gives us a bold assurance. Jesus said in Luke chapter 18 that men are always to pray and not to faint or turn coward or lose heart. Uh, in Proverbs chapter 8, before that, uh, same Lord said, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. So we thank God for what we're doing. And we thank God for the time in which we're doing it. And so we've gathered together on this call. We thank God for uh, being joined on this call today. I'm fired up. I'm lit. I'm crunk. I'm on team and all of that. Uh, but I'm fired up because this morning we are joined uh, by a dynamic prayer leader. I'm talking about none other than Superintendent Ronnie Roberts, uh, Atlanta, Birmingham region. And so um, I thank God for him. And he needs no introduction at all. Uh, he's a warrior of prayer. And so uh, I thank God for him being at the tip of the spear this morning. But I thank God for the truth, which is that uh, there are no spectators. We're not here uh, to watch uh, the elder, but we're here to join him to raise our voices. Deuteronomy tells us how can one chase a thousand and two put 10,000 to flight, uh, except the Lord has shut them up. It was an emphatic decree from Moses that if God is working, <laughs> glory to God, God is working on behalf of warriors, then there's nothing that the enemy can do. And even if you get a couple of them together, they can put the flight uh, so many thousands more than them. And it's that way as we're gathered together on this call. Uh, Psalms 133 tells us how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. There's a blessing there, and that's the blessing that's on this call right now. I want to say that before we receive uh, Superintendent Roberts, that the National Prayer Team has asked that we as a church right now, that we would pray and that we would uh, offer supplication for our presiding bishop and for uh, his executive cabinet and the ruling elders, that we would cover them, uh, glory to God, all of the leaders of this church, uh, that as we cover them, that there would be a trickle-down effect to every superintendent, every pastor and elder, ministers, deacons, glory to God, mothers and teachers, evangelists of the gospel. Hallelujah, glory to God. And so the Word of God tells us, uh, back in Exodus chapter 17, it came to pass that when Moses held up his hand, that Israel prevailed. <clears throat> and when he let down his hand, Amalek prevailed. But Moses' hands were heavy, and they put a stone and uh, put it under him, and he sat thereon. Then Aaron and Hur stayed up his hands, one on one side and one on the other, and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. I don't have time to unpack it. But the scripture is showing us that as Moses' arms were stretched out, there's Hebrew words there, even words of praise and yada and toda, but as his arms were extended to God, as he realized that his sufficiency was of God, he was fighting. He was fighting. Moses was fighting up on the hill with his hands extended to God as Joshua and the warriors were fighting in the valley. Two different battles going on. Glory to God. Both of them important. But as his hands were extended to God, the people of Israel prevailed. And so we should pray in that same spirit for this presiding bishop, for these ruling elders, this executive cabinet. Glory to God. Then Paul comes along in Ephesians chapter 6 telling the church in Ephesus, pray for me. He says, and pray always with all prayer and supplication, watching for all saints. Then he says, and for me. So he's telling the church, pray for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. He says that I'm an ambassador in bonds, that I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. 
Paul prayed. He said, church, pray for me that I will be bold. Pray for me that I will be a bold ambassador for Jesus. That's the same spirit that we want to pray now for this presiding bishop and for our ruling elders. There's so much that needs to be done. Uh, so many things uh, that are, are, this church is at the cusp of doing. Uh, so much uh, that needs to change, glory to God. And so we have to have direction from God and clarity. Hallelujah, glory to God. And so it is with that that we want to receive now Superintendent Roddy Roberts. We thank God for him. Let's join him and raise our voice as we cover these men of God in prayer and supplication. Father, we're thankful, we're grateful, we're honored, we're humbled today. God, for the invitation, the invite, Lord, that you've given unto us. Morning by morning and day by day, we're so thankful this morning. We receive of that invitation where you told us we can come boldly to the throne of grace that we might obtain mercy, find grace to help in the time of need. And Father, we realize that there is a dire need this day. God, when we look in society and understand and see what's taking place, it brings us, God, to the last days. And so we're asking this morning, God, through and by the grace, the power, the strength of the living God, as we join our faith this morning, as we agree together by the Spirit of the living God, Lord, you'd ever show yourself strong at this place this morning. And Father, we want to start off praying. For those men and women, God, in which we call intercessors, those who have rose up this morning, God, many of them forsaken their rest. Many of them may be out, God, on their way to the marketplace, on their way to work. We're just asking this morning, God, that by the Spirit of living God, God, that you would help us to understand. We know it's so much, God, that we don't understand about this place, this awesome place that we call prayer. But God, as we pray over these intercessors this morning, help us to understand, God, that it is you who your word declared that you look for men who would stand in the gap and make up the hedge. I pray this morning, God, that these who are on this line this morning, God, that they are ever encouraged, inspired, lifted up. Their hearts, God, are turned toward you. God, that they would never forsake this place. Understanding, God, is so important. It's the place of advantage. It's the place, God, that you can reveal and expose your mind, your heart, your thoughts to those who would come to you. And so, God, first First of all, we pray over these intercessors right now. Even as the men of God declared, you said men are to always pray, God, that we don't faint, we don't quit, we don't give up, we don't throw in the towel, God, we don't become weaklings. And so this morning, God, as we raise these intercessors up, as we raise these men and women of God up, we're asking God's grace, God's power, God's anointing, God's ability, God's authority over each one of them this morning. God, that they don't, God, be pulled somewhere out by the enemy, where in God that they forsake this place of prayer and so we're asking now God that they are ever encouraged speaking to them now to help them to understand God that their first call our first call God it should be the place of intercessor intercession reminding us that Jesus himself is an intercessor the Holy Spirit is an intercessor and so this morning God we encourage those men and women at that place now and so father we know this morning God that we are praying God, for our elders, we are praying, God, for our bishops, and Father, we first start out with the elder estate, we are praying, God, over Bishop Senior, we are asking the grace, the hand of the Lord over this man, God, who have labored in the vineyard, given his life, God, to the work, we pray over him, we pray over Mother this morning, we are asking God extended grace, God extended power, we are asking God over his health, we are praying, believing, and trusting. God, you said it is your will, God, that we be in hell. And so this morning, God, we're asking the grace, the hand, the strength, the power of the living God over Bishop Senior this morning. We are praying, lift the day's longevity of life over him right now. We are praying over sickness, disease, anything, God, that would try to attack this body. We are asking the grace, the strength of the living God, Father, to ever be before him now. And God, even Ella Rooks, we're asking now. We said by the Spirit of living God, we are praying for these elderly states right now. We are asking God's hand. We are asking God's grace. We are asking God's power. Over this man right now in the name of your son, we recognize God that his body been somewhat feeble. And we are pleading the blood of Jesus over these men right now in the name of your son. We are asking God that the Spirit of the Lord God will ever go before them. We know you said you called God the young. God because they were strong. You called those that were old 
oh God, because they know the way. And so we need these elderly statements around. And so we are pleading and we are asking, we are believing, we are trusting, we are looking. We are raising our level of expectation as well as our imagination. God, to believe that you're going to extend the life of these men today in the name of your son. We are decreeing it, we are declaring it. We are agreeing together by the Spirit of the living God as we raise these men and women, as we raise these men up this morning in the name of your son. And so, Father, we are praying, oh God, for Bishop, oh God, Mike Knight Jr. We are just asking the Spirit of the living God, not only over him, but God, over his family, over his wife, over his children, his grandchildren, his nieces, his nephews. I'm asking God, the Spirit of the Lord, God will cover that entire family. I'm asking God against any distractions, anything, God, that will cause him to, to leave. Oh God, his mind is where some kind of way. God, to, to move away from that that you purpose, you plan, you ordain and sanction for this man of God. We know, God, that this is the man, God, that you've ordained for this hour, God, over the by faith family. And so we're asking you this morning, we said by the spirit of the living God, as we pray over him, we say from the crown of his head to the very soles of his feet, we are asking God's grace, God's power, God's anointing, God's ability, God's authority. We're asking for God's wisdom over this man this morning in the name of your son. We said by the spirit of the living God, and we know this morning, God is not by might nor by power, but it is by your spirit. And so this morning, God, we are praying a fresh fire over this man this morning. We are praying, God, a fresh grace over him this morning. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, we know your word declared. You said, well, sin did abound. You said grace did the much more. And so, Father, we are praying the much more over this man of God this morning. We said much more grace, much more faith, much more authority. Much more this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus, we said by the Spirit of the living God, and we are coming his help this morning. We are asking you, God, that by the Spirit of the living God, we are asking God that through the grace of the living God, Father, that you would ever show yourself strong and mighty over this man, God, concerning his health. We are asking now, God, from the crown of his head to the very soles of his feet, God, that he is healthy. We decree, we declare divine help, divine healing over him right now. God, we are praying, Almighty God, the anointing, the power of the Spirit of living God. We are asking, God, that there's a release of the anointing over this man right now. God, that anointing, God, that destroys and breaks the backs of demons, devils, and unclean spirits. That anointing, oh God, that destroys sickness, disease, cancers, tumors, growths. I mean, blood pressures, diabetes, every diabolical disease, God, that the enemy, God, will try to throw at this man in the name of the Lord Jesus, God not only him, but God, this entire board, we are praying the grace of the living God. We know that you wished above all things, God, that we would prosper, be in health, even as our soul shall prosper. And so we are asking God the grace and the hand and the strength of the living God, God, over our bishop now. And God, we are asking over Ella, Ella Turner. We are praying the grace, the strength of the living God over this man. I'm asking right now, God, we are decreeing, we are declaring length of days, longevity of life over these men of God today. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we are praying over his health. God, I'm praying even over his wife, God, his children. We cover them in your blood right now. And we are asking your protection, your shielding, God, from the hands of the enemy. In the name of your son, we said by the Spirit of living God. We're just asking you, Father, that by the Spirit of living God, we know this morning, God, is not by might nor by power, but it is by your Spirit. And so we are declaring and that the spirit of the living God, God, go before ill attorney this morning. God, we say protect these men as they travel over the highways. I'm asking God by your spirit, oh God, every interstate, every 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 side road, every back road, every dirt road, God, that they might travel. I'm asking God's grace, God's power, God's anointing, God's ability, God's authority over these men right now. We are praying against accidents, incidents, fender benders. I'm asking right now, God, against any I mean, malfunction of the vehicles, God, that they won't be. I'm talking about every place that they will go. I'm asking God against any interruptions, any interference, any hitches, any glitches, anything, Lord, that the enemy would try to do, God, to hinder their travel. I'm asking the Spirit of the Lord, mighty God, to go before them, God, even a flat tire. We cancel it this morning in the 
name of the Lord Jesus. We're just asking God for free travel. God, as these men travel, I mean, from one place to the other in the name of your son. We said by the spirit of living God. And God, we're praying over Dr. Ware. We're asking the spirit of the Lord, God, to ever go before him and him and prophet well. We're asking God over their children. We're asking this morning. We said by the spirit of living God. We said cover every one of them in your blood this morning. We know it's your will. Almighty God. Yes, in the name of your son. We know it's the will of God. God, that you cover not only them, but God, their children in the name of your son. We are just asking God's grace, God's power, God's anointing over their children this morning. In the name of your son, God, we say cover each one of them. And we are asking almighty God that your protection, your shielding, your new hedging is around them. We are asking God anything prematurely that the enemy would try to bring against these children this morning. In the name of your son, God, we said cover them. We said by the spirit of living God. And we know this morning, God, is not by might nor by power, but it is by your spirit. And so, God, we ask the spirit of the Lord, Father, to ever go before him. I'm asking now, God, over Ella Williams. We pray over this man right now. We lift him up in the name of your son, God. We lift, I mean, the districts we're lifting. And we are asking, God, that by the spirit of living God, Father, that you go before he and his wife. I'm pleading the blood of Jesus over this man, over his wife, over their health. We are declaring, we are decreeing this morning, God, length of days, longevity of life. We are praying, God, against any sickness, any disease. God, that would try, mighty God, to offset that that you purpose, plan, ordain, and sanction, oh God, for these men of God this morning. In the name of your son, we said, by the spirit of living God, and we are praying and we're asking this morning, God, we know that there are so many things, God, that these men have to take care of as well as for the business of the church. But I'm asking you this morning, God, even over those things that seem to be tough, those things, God, that seem to be mind boggling. I'm asking right now in the name of your son, God, by the spirit of living God, those decisions, God, that they need to make. I'm pleading. I'm asking. I'm trusting. I'm looking. And I'm asking you this morning, my God, that where they might scratch their head, God, think twice about it. I'm praying and I'm asking this morning, God, that faith will come alive. I'm asking this morning, God, that their trust and confidence, their reliance, their dependence is upon you. And God, we know that the word of the Lord declared, my God, that as many as are led by the Spirit of God, they are the sons of God. And so this morning, I pray as these sons, my God, would ponder over the business of the church of the living God. I'm praying and I'm asking right now, God, that the decision that they would make, God, only heaven will endorse them in the name of your son. We said by the spirit of living God. I'm praying and I'm asking now, God, that their faith, God, in the, even in the decision that they would make, mighty God, that those things, God, that they would decree, they would declare, God, that they will even worry about it because they believe and they trust. They look and they expect you to lead them, to guide them. I'm praying that the Holy Spirit right now, over these men of God today, this morning, we, as we agree together, as we join our faith, as we band this morning, I'm praying that the Holy Spirit, God, ever lead these men. You said that he was our leader, our guide, our teacher. He was the one that quickened our mind, bring all things to our remembrance. And so this morning, he also was the one that reveals the Lord Jesus Christ. And so I'm asking right now, oh God, allow these men to lay on your breast. God, to hear your heartbeat. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Oh God, we so glad you still we asking you to We pray for the glory of the Lord. Now. Yes, we said do it, Lord. Mm-hmm. And that they would never hear your heart beat. They would ever today call God as that one that one God that one beat God that one beat in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are asking you to do that. We pray for the glory of the Lord this morning. Yes, in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray do it, Lord. We pray to the plan of the Lord. We pray to the speak the news of confusion right now. God, the other state can be now about the plan of the Lord. Lord, the plan of the Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, we ask you to do it, we pray for the glory of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The answer to the promises of God is yes and amen. We say, so be it. We say, it is so, and so it is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. 
we say yes and amen to the wisdom, to the direction, to the clarity of thought. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. We say amen. Yes, and so be it. To protection and safety. Glory to God. To uh, health springing forth speedily. We thank God. Glory to God for what he's doing in all of the ways in which he's manifesting himself and showing himself strong on behalf of those whose heart is perfect toward him. We thank God this morning for the word of God going forth in the air and even now continuing by our dynamic prayer leader, uh, that is uh, Superintendent Riley Roberts. We thank God for you, man of God, and we thank God for each and everyone, every intercessor. As the man of God opened up by speaking about, he was referencing uh, Ezekiel chapter 22 and verse 30, where the Lord said, And I sought for a man among them to stand in the gap and make up the hedge for me, for the land, that I would not destroy it. And the sad commentary is, is that it, when it, as Ezekiel spoke it, the Lord had a, had a gripe. He had a grievance uh, that he couldn't find anyone. He found so few. There was no one that wanted to answer the call of intercession. And so, But we thank God that it, that is not the case today, that the Lord has found some that will stand in the gap and make up the hedge. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And so we thank God for the blessing upon the intercessor. And I just thank God for uh, what has been declared. I thank God for the truth of the word that has gone forth. I'm fully persuaded, absolutely, positively, glory to God, that what the Lord said is exactly what he meant. And just as superintendent declared and lifted up the word of God, uh, my confidence is that as he said, so shall my word be which goeth forth out of my mouth, it shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. And so as the word of God has been sent over this presiding bishop uh, and family, over these men and women, and I say that, uh, husband and wife, last time I checked, are one. Uh, Jesus said in Matthew chapter 19, that then shall a man depart from his father and mother and cleave unto his wife, and the two shall be one, one flesh. Glory to God. So I thank God for his glory, his grace, and power over these men and women. Our presiding bishop and his family, our, uh, these ruling elders and our, the executive council and their families. I thank God for his word, which has gone forth, which shall not return unto him void, but his word will accomplish everything that he pleases and prosper in the thing whereto he has sent it. That's the reason why our confidence is so high in the word of God. I thank God that as he said, every decision, uh, every, uh, every agenda item of the business of the church, glory to God. We thank God for the wisdom of God that is so prevalent and is so available and is so accessible and that is inundating uh, these men and women of God. And so I thank God because God said if we lack wisdom, let us ask God. In James chapter 1, he gives to all men liberally and upbraided not. I thank God that wisdom is the principal thing. As he said in Proverbs 4, therefore get wisdom. And with all of that getting, we get understanding. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And I thank God that for the sharpness that he's bringing to our presiding bishop and the executive council. He said in Ecclesiastes 10, in the Amplified, if the ax is dull and the man doesn't wet the edge like a wet stone, like a barber in the barber shop, he must put forth more strength. But wisdom, is, it helps him to succeed. He was saying if the ax is dull, if it's not sharp, then you've got to put a whole lot more work. You've got to put a whole lot more effort because we're not sharp. And that's what God would have us to be, sharp swords, sharp axes that are quick and able to do the work of God. Listen, we give Jesus all the glory and all the honor and all the praise. Listen, I thank God for his wisdom. I thank God for what he's doing. There's so many things before these men and women of God, so many decisions that must be made. Glory to God. Monrovia, Liberia, Ozark, Alabama. Glory to God. Financial Solutions, um, the Extension Fund, By Faith Partners. Glory to God. Diversification, diversity in this church, even on this prayer call. Hallelujah. We need Spanish uh, pastors and speakers like we have in this church. 
praying in Spanish and other languages on these prayer calls. We need it, glory to God. But every decision and every challenge that's presented to these leaders, I thank God, as Superintendent said, that the Holy Ghost, the wisdom of God, is all over them like an ephod, and that every decision, every, every choice that is made, is made to the grace and to the power of God and by the endorsement of heaven. And that's our decree, and we thank God for doing it. And so let's go forward today. Let's make it a great day. Be an instrument of God's grace. Turn the world upside down. Second century, first century, bridge century. Listen, it's on us. I know it's dark. But he said that, arise and shine, thy light is come. The glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. Yeah, darkness shall cover the earth. And yeah, gross darkness the people. But the glory of the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Walk in that glory today. In Jesus' name, amen and hallelujah.